What's up everybody and welcome back to another Overwatch League discussion video and today my friend as you can tell from the title we are talking about the god himself Shadowburn because the Philly Fusion as we all know did release him and I think that Shadowburn is a superstar player. I think that he could definitely shine on another team. And with him being a free agent now, I think it's safe to say that he is one of the most valuable free agents on the market right now. He is an incredible player. He's a superstar playmaker that always seems to make these insane Genji and fair plays. And there are many teams that would benefit from this guy being on their team without a doubt. But in my opinion, there are five in particular that really need Shadowburn on their team and would become a much better team overall with him being on the starting lineup. So... Let's transition into the main point of this video. Here are five teams that I think really need to try and sign Shadowburn during this offseason. And before I dive into the first team on my list, just know that this list is in order, meaning that the number five team will benefit the least from having Shadowburn on their team, and the number one team will benefit the most from having him. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So the first team that I have on my list coming in at number five is the Houston Outlaws. And I know that this team kind of has a decent standing in terms of their projectile players. I think that Jake and Linkser can fill out the Genji, your Farah, and your Junkrat needs pretty well overall. But I think that Shadowburn can play all of these heroes better than Jake and Linkser. So needless to say, I think that Shadowburn would definitely be a big time upgrade. And honestly... I think you could probably split time between him, Jake, and Linkser. It would make for a pretty deadly DPS rotation, don't you think? I think that Shadowburn could definitely thrive in the starting role on this team, but I think it'll all come down to maps, honestly. Like, maybe you're in a situation where you're on a map that Jake isn't that good on, and you start Shadowburn, you have Linkser in there as well, and then maybe there's a map where Shadowburn isn't too great, and then you can put Jake back in, or maybe Linkser, Whoever's on the bench at the moment, you could have a really good system with that DPS rotation, and they could definitely all work really well together. I think that Shadowburn is definitely something this team needs. I know that the number one priority for these guys should definitely be getting a good Tracer player, so that's why I don't have the Houston Outlaws higher up on this list, but still... I think Shadowburn could really help this team thrive in the next season due to the fact that there were times where the DPS just weren't making big time plays, especially after stage one. Like, Jake didn't really pop off that much during the entire Overwatch League in general. There were times where he shined, but not as much as we all hoped he would. And then Linkser after stage one, there were lots of moments where he was very cold. And if you could have Shadowburn come in and just have some of those insane Genji and Pharah plays, it would definitely help this team out. That was something they were lacking in big time plays and games where they really needed to win. And that's all I really have to say about the Outlaws potentially signing Shadowburn. So now let's move on to my number four team, which would be the Florida Mayhem. This team, I think, just really needs players in general since they basically released every player on their roster other than Saya player and Tavik. And if they aren't going to go full Korean, which I'm assuming they're not if they're keeping Tavik on the roster, Shadowburn would definitely help. I think he's better than Tavik overall, so maybe you can have Tavik come off the bench or just have them compete to see who's better in general. But I personally think Shadowburn's the better player. No disrespect to Tavik. If you've been around here for a while, you know that I love him. I know he's not the craziest player out there he's not the best in any way shape or form but he's very flexible i like to vic a lot but shadowburn could play all the heroes to vic can play like other than tracer really even better he's just a better player in general he makes those plays like i've been talking about multiple times already he tends to have those crazy dragon blades he hits all those shots on Farah, and to vic just doesn't do that that often so shadowburn would be a big time upgrade but unfortunately for Florida Mayhem, I don't think their chances of getting Shadowburn are all too good, even though they really need to try and get him, just because of the fact that they've been going through a lot lately in their organization. They seem more shady and untrustworthy than ever right now. I'm not sure if Shadowburn would dare go near a roster like this. He wants to be starting on a team. We know that. He wants to get paid and he wants to be a starter. He wants to be a superstar in this league and you can't trust Florida, especially after what happened with Zappis. I'm sure all of you know that situation by now, but just in case you don't, I'll quickly recap. So Florida said that they're going to be making some big time roster changes during this offseason, 
but they're, we're going to give everyone a chance in the open trial that played on the season one team. Everyone got a fair chance to fight for a roster spot. But then Zappis goes out on Twitter and clarifies that he never got an opportunity. The team said they would wait for him to be done with World Cup, but they didn't. They lied. They released him without even giving him a chance to fight for a roster spot. That is just messed up. That makes this organization look so shady. I'm sure that Shadowburn will think twice about even talking to the management at Florida Mayhem. He seems like a smart guy. He's probably not going to go near that organization. He's going to avoid them and look for a better team that's more loyal and more trustworthy. And with that being said, let's move on to the next team. And at number three, I have the expansion teams. <laughs> it's, it's not just one team for this spot. It's all of the expansion teams coming to Overwatch League Season 2. I guess I should say all of the Western ones because obviously a team that's fully Chinese or Korean or whatever won't go after Shadowburn. But all the Western teams I think should definitely give Shadowburn a shot. Try him out. Do whatever you have to do. I think building a team around this guy is a really smart idea. Just imagine if one of these expansion teams went out and signed Shadowburn to play flex DPS and do all the projectile things, play Brigitte or whatever you need. And then you go out and sign some sort of insane hit scan Korean player that can speak English decent. Someone that's just amazing at Widowmaker, kind of like a pine, but he can speak a decent amount of English. This team would be stacked and then you get decent tanks, decent supports to surround them. That would be a recipe for success. Shadowburn still has what it takes to be the best player on a Overwatch League team. I know that EQO made him lose his job, made him look bad, but Shadowburn proved in the World Cup that he is still a solid player. One of the best in the world, in fact. And I personally don't think EQO is that much better than Shadowburn. I've never thought too highly of him. But it's just whatever. I guess EQO synergizes better with the team. I personally would have kept Shadowburn if I was the fusion. But that's just my opinion, of course. And that's all I really have to say about a potential expansion team signing Shadowburn. Just because I really don't know anything about the expansion teams. They don't have any players on their rosters yet. I don't know who the coaches are. All of that is still unknown, so I'm just going to leave it there. Up next, I have the Dallas Fuel. And I think this one should come as a surprise to nobody because... The Fuel did lose Siegel from him retiring, and they don't have a projectile specialist on the roster at the moment. Effect, Taimu, and AKM all play the hitscan role primarily, so they really could use Shadowburn's help. And I know that Siegel left some big shoes behind that need to be filled, but I think Shadowburn could do a pretty good job of being the replacement for Siegel. Obviously, he can't play D.Va the way that Siegel did. Siegel was one of the best D.Va's I've ever seen, and he didn't even practice her for that long, but... I think Shadowburn's a better Genji and Pharah than Siegel, so in that aspect, it's almost like an upgrade. I think he could do a really good job. And like I mentioned earlier, the Dallas Fuel really need a projectile specialist, so I think it's safe to say Shadowburn would most likely start on this team. I mean, there may be some situations where you have him on the bench if you're going to run double sniper, you have your Hanzo and your Widowmaker. In that case, sure, it's fine to not have him in there. But on that's where you know you're going to play Genji and Pharah, he's probably going to be in there. You don't want an AKM blade, do you? With all jokes aside, though, Shadowburn would make this team much better in Season 2. That's a fact. And lastly, let's talk about the number one team. This team, I think, needs Shadowburn more than any other team in the league. And that, of course, is the Boston Uprising. These guys really need Shadowburn's help, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because for one, if my memory serves me right, I'm pretty sure Striker's the only DPS player on the team right now since they did release Mistakes. And I do kind of feel bad for Mistakes, but he really was a mediocre DPS player overall. It's not all his fault because he was mostly known for his Tracer back in the day, but Striker was better than him at Tracer, so he had to pick up heroes like Genji and Widowmaker, and he just wasn't that good at them. So Shadowburn's a definite upgrade over Mistakes because he can play Widow better. Not that much better, but we found out in the World Cup that Mistakes really hasn't gotten better at that hero and Shadowburn can somewhat hold his own but the real thing that you get out of this signing is his Genji and his Pharah a little bit of Junkrat and Hanzo as well him and Striker could make for a deadly one-two punch let's be honest can you imagine Striker on Widow or Tracer and then you have Shadowburn on Genji or Pharah or whatever else that is terrifying and don't even get me started with their dive comp Gamsu on Winston Striker on Tracer and 
and then you have Shadowburn on Genji? That is horrifying. I wouldn't want to go up against that, that's for sure. This team could easily have the deadliest dive comp in the league if they go out and sign Shadowburn. Get it done, Boston Uprising. You will be a fantastic team in Season 2, and I think with Shadowburn on the squad, this team will definitely make the playoffs once again. And that wraps up my list here, ladies and gentlemen, but the discussion does not end end here. Make sure to let me know what you think of my list down in the comments section. Let me know what you think of all the teams I put on there. Do you think that I put some teams too low, too high, or just right? And also let me know what you think of Shadowburn in general as a player. You think he's bad, good, average. I want to know everything. I love talking to you guys in the comment section. Let's get some discussions going, people. Also, before I wrap it up, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. I'd very much appreciate it. Also, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you don't miss the next Overwatch League discussion video. I plan on making a Logix top five teams that he needs to sign with video very soon because I think Logix is a very underrated player. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next one, I'll catch all of you beautiful people later. See ya!